Find and replace is super useful. Most of us only use the basics of this tool, but there's a lot more to find and replace than initially meets the eye. The find and replace tool helps you quickly find text or numbers and then replace them with something else. For example, let's say we wanted to find all instances of chai in this column and then replace it with chai latte. I'm going to limit my search to just column C, so I'll select it first. Now you can find the find tool on the home tab of the ribbon over here in find and select and then find, or you can just use the keyboard shortcut control F. This opens the find and replace dialog box on the find tab. Notice there's a replace tab as well. We'll come to that in a moment. Now in here, I just type in what I want to find, which is chai. By the way, you can click on the drop down and it will show you a list of recently searched terms. In options, we can choose to set a format. So for example, if I wanted to just find the red font, I could format and then choose red font and click OK. And now it's going to look for the word chai that's in this format. I can match the case exactly and I can match the entire cell contents. We can search within the sheet or within the workbook. Now, if you search within the workbook, it's going to ignore the fact that you select a column C and it's just going to search every cell in every sheet. So I'll leave it at sheet. You can search by rows or by columns and you can choose to look in formulas and that will search the values within the formulas or just values, notes and comments. Let's leave it at formulas. So when I click find all, it only finds one record that matches both the word and the font. So if I want to search for all instance of chai, I can clear the format and then find all. And now it's found four records. We can see them listed here, the workbook, the sheet and the cell. And I can click on these, the hyperlinks and it will take me to that cell. Now I want to actually replace the word chai with chai latte. So I'm going to go to the replace tab chai latte and again you can choose how you want that formatted so if I wanted it all in black font I can choose that here and set it to black so now when it replaces chai it's going to replace it with chai latte in a black font I can replace them one by one or I can just click replace all it tells me it's made four replacements I'll click OK now notice it hasn't replaced this one here so I'll click close let's just choose any cell I'll control H to open the replace dialog box. Notice it's the same dialog box, just open on the replace tab. Now I want to match the cell contents entirely because I already have chai in these cells with chai latte. I only want to find the cell that contains just chai. So I need to match the cell contents and replace it with chai latte. I'll click replace. You can see it's replaced it up there. So I can go ahead and close it. Now, if you want to find or replace values on multiple sheets, you can select them all by holding down the shift key and then selecting a range. Or if you only want to select non-contiguous sheets, then hold down control while you select the sheets that you want to search for that term on and replace the values. I'm going to right click and ungroup the sheets because I want to show you one more tool. Again, on the home tab of the ribbon over here in find and select, we actually have some other options we can quickly jump to cells that have formulas so you can see them here now deselect those cells and let's go ahead and look we can find cells that have notes so it's found these two cells here that have notes we can also find cells that contain conditional formatting so this is the range here that contains the conditional formatting and even though there's only a few cells that have the formatting applied the conditional formatting rule is present in all of these cells, which is why they've been selected. We can also find constants and data validation. Another tool that I use quite often is select objects. So this allows you to lasso an area and select all objects. So you can see I've selected the menu button up here. If I select part of it, it doesn't choose it. It has to lasso the whole object. This is really handy if you have multiple objects that are sort of on top of each other or lots of objects that you want to select all in one go. Just be sure to turn it off by deselecting it, otherwise your mouse becomes kind of useless. Lastly, in Find and Select, we can open the selection pane. And here I can choose to hide or show all objects. 
At the moment the comments are hidden which is why we have this dashed line but I can turn them on one by one by clicking the icon. I can hide them all and notice the menu button up here is gone or I can show them all. So that's up to you how you turn them on and off but the selection pane is really handy particularly for locating objects in your workbook. So that's it for find and replace. Remember the keyboard shortcut for find is control F and for find and replace is control H. Okay, take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with these tools.